Hello, today I'll be walking you through on how to install Melee 1.03. We'll be going over how to install it on Slippy Dolphin, the base Dolphin build, as well as on, an, on a Nintendo Wii with or without a GameCube memory card. The only assumption this video will make is that you have one of these installed, and with respect to the Nintendo Wii, that you have it modded for homebrew. All links to material shown in this video will be in the description, as well as a link to the 20XX Discord where you can contact uh, the developers and others to, see, to troubleshoot any issues you might run into. Let's get right into it. For those interested in setting up Melee 1.03 with Slippy Dolphin, here's what you'll need to do. Extract the .zip to get your four main GCI files. You're going to want to go to your Slippy directory, which is where the executable and user.json files are. You're going to want to go to user, gc, usa, card a, and you're going to want to make sure all four GCI files get copied into here. You're going to then open up Slippy as usual, go to config, GameCube, memory card, and set this to GCI folder. You're then going to want to right click on your ISO, go to properties, Gecko codes, and disable any codes you have in here. From here, you just load up Melee as normal, and you're going to progress to the name entry screen. And when you get this prompt, you're going to click Yes. And here you are in Melee 1.03. For those interested in installing Melee 1.03 on normal Dolphin, here's what you'll need to do. Extract the .zip file to get your four core GCI files. You're going to want to go to Documents, Dolphin Emulator, GC, USA, Card A. You want to make sure all four of these files are copied right in here. Then you'll load up Dolphin as normal, go to Config, GameCube, and make sure slot A is set to GCI folder. From here, you're going to want to right click on your ISO, properties, and go to Gecko codes and make sure nothing here is toggled. Everything is unchecked. Then you're just going to want to boot up Melee as normal. And you're going to progress to the name entry screen. You're going to get this prompt, which you're going to type yes. And here you are in Melee 1.03. For those who wish to install Melee 1.03 on a memory card for use on console, here's the steps you'll need. You're going to need GCMM, Melee 1.03, and if you intend to load Melee off of a backup ISO, Nintendon't, which is what these three other files are. So the first step is you're going to go to the root of your SD card and you're going to create a folder called MC Backup. Inside this folder is where you'll be placing the GCI files of Melee 1.03. So you're going to extract the ISO and copy in the GCI files. Your next step will be in Apps. If you intend to use an ISO backup, this is where we'll be setting up Nintendo. So you create a file folder called Nintendo't, and you copy those three files right in here, and then you'll be renaming loader to boot.dol. If you don't do this, Nintendo't will not come up on the homebrew channel. Lastly is GCMM. You can right click, extract here, we, and copy over GCMM dark into your apps folder. And now you're set up and ready to go on the Wii itself. From the homebrew channel, you're going to go to GCMM, load, and then you're going to press X, choose your memory card, and then hit R to restore everything in MC back up to the memory card. This process will take a bit, so be patient. Once it completes, you're just going to continue back to the menu and then you're going to hit start to exit back to the homebrew menu. From here, we're going to go to Nintendon't. Choose your storage medium. And 
and then boot right into Melee itself. From here, it's just going to be progressing right to the name entry screen. And here you are at Melee 1.03. For those interested in installing Melee 1.03 for their Nintendo Wii but don't have a GameCube memory card on hand, you can load it through Nintendo't Memory Card Emulation. You will need Nintendo't itself and the uh, RAW file for Melee 1.03 which can be found in the 20XX Discord. First things first, you're going to extract the RAW and you're going to copy this folder here right to the root of the SD card. You will then be going to Apps, and you'll be creating a folder and naming it Nintendo. You're going to go inside that folder, and you're going to copy the three Nintendo files right in there. Lastly, you'll be renaming Loader.dll to Boot.dll to make sure that Nintendo comes up on the Homebrew channel. If you do not do this, it will not come up. We are now ready to go to the Wii itself. From the Homebrew channel, you want to just load right into Nintendo. Let it validate everything and load up. And then you're going to hit B to go to settings. And you're going to make sure that mem card emulation is toggled to on. This will allow us to use the memory card on the SD card. Once we boot into Melee, we'll be going right to the name entry screen. And here you are in Melee 1.03. That concludes this video walkthrough on how to install Melee 1.03. Once again, all materials shown in this video are available in the description below, and if you have any issues, feel free to contact the 20XX Discord for help.